So I've got an old uh, air compressor that I got 23 years ago and uh, I don't use it very much. It's 5 gallons, uh, 5 horsepower, 30 gallon, 240 volt. Because uh, I haven't used it much, I haven't ever given it much maintenance. Changed the oil in it a couple of times. And uh, this past year I took it apart completely and decided to uh, do a little upgrades. Um, I was surprised to find how, how much water was in the tank. And uh, <laughs> so after doing a little research online, I found some others that had done after coolers. And uh, I thought I'd do the same thing. So this was the original that went into the tank. And of course, you know, these things get hot. And uh, all that moisture just goes straight in. So uh, I got this uh, air, con air conditioning condenser, uh, brand new off uh, Amazon. Uh, it was like $70. It's for like a 70s Corvette. And uh, I just got some piping and fabricated my own little mount for it. And uh, I wanted it to be on the machine so that I can move it around if I need to. Uh, it's narrow. It's convenient and uh, I don't need a fan it's big enough it uh, circulates the air it goes in real hot right out of the head up into the top right there and uh, comes out over here nice and cool a lot of water collects and I got two filters there the first one collects most of it and it's an automatic drain so uh, I had to put a little cup underneath it to catch the water because it would go right onto the hot head um, but uh, that's the job, and so far I'm happy. It's, it's even quieter than it used to be as well. So I'll get it running here in a minute. So this is where I keep it in my garage, right in the corner. It's out of the way, uh, yet easily accessed. I've got a bunch of hose that's uh, wound up next to it, easily uh, connected. And uh, I can go. I got a hundred feet of hose, so I can go just about anywhere I want to. But uh, I'm pleased with it. Otherwise, being 240 volt, I've got it right next to the circuit panel so I can have a dedicated line. Uh, so let's turn it on. Yeah, so there, a lot of air is stored in that uh, condenser, and uh, the automatic sh shutoff uh, has a lot of air to, to bleed out, and takes a little while to do that before the automatic drain kicks in for those two filters. Uh, because I just turned it on, it's cold, there wasn't much 
liquid but uh, I'm gonna run it here with the air running and run it for like 10 minutes solid and build up some heat and moisture and then we'll see how much comes out see just how much water comes out of that little filter. There you go. Quite a little splash. You can see it in there. And a 
course it's all over the place. And of course it splattered out, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do. It's all over still, just blast enough out. So now I need to can do some kind of contraption. I was thinking of just putting a sock over it to catch it and keep it from spraying. So anyway, that's my setup and uh, I'll drain uh, all the air out and see how much uh, water is in the bottom of the tank. There shouldn't be too much. These filters should have caught most of it. So I put a little bit bigger of a can there to catch the water. There wasn't so much water because uh, it didn't run for quite so long, but uh, and it will help a lot. The air that still blows some of it out of the can, but it's much less, so I can live with that, I think. So I thought this was a fun little project. It took me a couple of weeks by the time I got around to everything and all the parts, but yeah, I'm happy.